Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I have pre-shuffled this deck so I'm going to go ahead and lay that card over. Um, this is for January 2018. Uh, this is meant to be a general reading, okay? It's not a private reading so, you know, it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does and leave the rest, okay? It isn't meant for just one person, okay? This is for a general audience. Again, this is for January 2018 for the sun sign of Libra. I have pre-shuffled, like I said, so I'm only going to shuffle for a moment, and I will focus the camera in when I get done laying out the cards. Again, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this video should not be on anybody else's channel. You are welcome to share it on Facebook or anything else, but it's not, it's, you know, some people have been downloading videos as their own, and that is not okay. So, it appears to me, January 2018, that you Libras need to have a little bit more compassion for yourselves, okay? The basis of your reading is the Empress Reversed. So there's a lack of compassion for me. And it's not for me, it's for you, okay? Somebody is lacking compassion for themselves, not seeing their inner beauty, not realizing how worth, worthy they are. Oh, somebody that is watching this doesn't realize how beautiful they are inside and out, okay? That's why that came up as the basis of your reading. Somebody needs to be reminded that they are a beautiful soul, that their strength comes from their gentle compassion and love, okay? They have forgotten how beautiful they are, so I'm here to tell you to remember how beautiful your soul is, okay? Right off the bat. All right. If you've forgotten, you need to start remembering where you come from, all you've learned, okay? You are a beautiful soul. Do not forget it, okay? It's time to bring happiness back. It's time to bring alignment back. It's time to um, stop feeling like you aren't worthy, okay? You are worthy, all right? I feel like many of you... Um, you know, there's a lesson that still needs to be learned. It hasn't quite been learned yet. And I be truly believe it has to do with loving yourself. Okay? I, I do. I mean, this is the lesson. The world card is a lesson. But unfortunately, it's reversed in this reading. It is January 2018. And I feel like you guys quite haven't learned how to put yourself first. Okay? That, you, you know, there's a lesson to be learned here. There's no doubt about it. And it has to do with nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, um, letting yourself grow, you know, moving away from things that no longer serve you that are growing, you know, and, and really working on yourself, um, being willing to accept change. I feel like, you know, you have to shed the old, and that's part of why you you know this card is reversed this card this magician says you have to be willing to shed the old the magician is willing okay but you really have to be willing to love yourself first okay you need to have respect for yourself you need to take action i see many of you are dreaming about the past you're still stuck in the past and you're and you really have to struggle through it but you're resisting the struggle okay or you are struggling but you're not making the changes you're still not letting go because this is the past this tells me you need to take action from the past you must let go of the past it is hindering your beauty your inner beauty it's hinder hindering how you feel about yourself okay because you feel like you're not worthy somebody from the past is still there okay and and because they haven't come around to where you want it to be you're feeling like it's you it's not you okay this was something that wasn't meant to be long term we have the devil card here this is a false uh, bond okay this with the devil brings in stuff that is not true the devil does not bring in good things okay it brings in lust 
it brings in um, trouble, it brings in conflicts, it brings in manipulation and obsessions and lies, okay? When the devil comes up in a reading, it is, it is um, asking you to free yourself. You can free yourself from this false um, trap whenever you're ready, but you haven't. You know, you haven't because you haven't been willing. You know, you, you the willingness comes from within you, okay? I feel like for many of you, you have this, uh, you have the resources. You have the resources to love yourself. You have the resources to bring your beauty back. You have the resources, the knowledge, the awareness, the skills, everything. You have all of that to turn this card around and to be the beautiful person that you are, but you're not using them, okay? You're not taking action. And in this January, you're being urged to seriously take action. This is act now, think later. Free yourself, please, free yourself. There's unnecessary drama here. There's drama that isn't needed. There's a loss of faith. There's a loss of trust, okay? It's time for you to have faith in yourself. It's time for you to love yourself. It's time for you to bring your um, happiness back. It's time for you to bring alignment to your life. It's time for you to broaden your horizons. Expand yourself. Okay? Right now, there's, a, there's still a lesson to be learned. You, can't, you haven't successfully completed the last chapter of your life as of yet. You're like stalling it by not respecting yourself because this is lack of respect and this is too this empress reversed i mean it is there's lack of um self-esteem lack of self-confidence lack of self-worth here and that that's what that is i mean it's uh, that's all there is to it that's it is okay so and it is it's because somebody has not returned affection to you and because the the affection whether it's a partner uh a family member or whatever there's a lack of affection and this could have happened years ago I mean this can go back for the last four years okay maybe you know something you've been on this roller coaster for four years okay and now um, and now it's it's got come to a point where it is time for it to complete but you're not letting it it's time for you to learn the lesson it's time for you to move on it's time for you to step over the finish line, but you're not doing it, okay? Wherever you're staying, it was like it was an illusion. It was an obsession, and you just can't free yourself from it. The time is now to free yourself. When the devil comes up in the reading, it was not true. Yes, it was karmic, okay? There was a karmic situation that needed to be dealt with, but you're still not learning from it. The lesson I see here is for you to love yourself compassionately. And you're not doing that yet. I mean, that's connected to the lesson. You need to love yourself without expectations. Okay? And you need to realize your worth. And that's what the lesson is. Until you can love yourself 100% for who you are, you, you're going to be playing this game. Okay? It is time for you to go down a new path. Okay? It is. You know, and there's been struggles, then there's been conflicts. We have this hangman here. It's time to look at things from a new perspective. I see you're resisting the change a hundred percent. It's time to let go when the hangman comes up comes up in a reading. It is time to let go. Act now. Walk away from the past, because this is the past. You must. You must walk away from it. It was an illusion. It was not true. It brought a lot of drama into your life. Everybody was, you know, had their guard up in the situation. It felt like there was a, it was a constant battle that didn't need to be fought. It is time to walk away from it and really put yourself first. Okay? Because you weren't getting the love, the attention, the romance 
that you were looking for. That's all there is to it. Somebody wasn't giving you the attention that you needed. And you just can't let it go because of the lack of love for yourself. And I'm sorry that this is what this is, but it is what it is. I can't change it. Okay. So January 2018 is becoming, is about becoming aware. You have to become aware of who you really are. Become aware of your beauty. Become aware of your gentleness. Become aware of your compassion again. Realize that it really wasn't you. Okay, it wasn't. Everything happens for a reason. This was a karmic lesson that needed to be learned to teach you to have respect for yourself, to teach you to love yourself. And you guys have been resisting this change for a long time, a long time. And it could stem all the way back to your childhood. Okay, so it may not just be the four years, because this is for hundreds and thousands of people. For somebody, this goes all the way back to your childhood, from when you were a child and you felt unloved. Child felt unloved. And so now, you know, right throughout the years, your lack of feeling worthy has just grown, you know? So you let, your, you let yourself believe that you weren't worthy. When the fact of the matter is, this whole time you were. You guys have, a, there's a lack of self-esteem. There's a lack of self-esteem here that has been hindering you for years and years. For somebody. And it's just dimmed your light. I mean, your light is dim at this point. Because it is time for you to love yourself. What advice do you have for Libra in January? Please, God, how can they change this situation? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, how can this situation change? Oh, my God, it's in your hands. Oh, jeez. I'm going to have to read that one to you. But uh, this right here, it's in your hands. The outcome is unknown because you hold the power within you. You hold the power in your hands to change, but it's reversed. You don't want to let go. That's what that card, the, it's in your hands. Depressed, crying, sad, withdrawn, you know, very, very... Um, You know, I can't, you know, depressed, depressed right here. This is depression. This is feeling dead inside. Okay. Feeling dead inside. It's time to accept the truth. I mean, it is, you're being offered the truth, but you know, your own insecurities, your own instabilities, you know, you, know, you have this victim mentality and I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not trying to pinpoint you guys or anything, but this is a victim mentality. This one is too. This is like feeling dead inside, like I can't let go. It's not over. Instead of reevaluating and healing and moving on, you're holding on. Okay, you're holding on to something that is that is dead. It's a dead end, you know, and I'm sorry to tell you that. I mean, that's what the cards say and my intuition. And because of that, it's it's really affecting your beautiful soul. It really is. You're being offered the truth. You've been offered the truth. This is the sword that can cut the cord. Are you going to use it? This is a completion of a relationship. This is the Ten of Cups. And, I, and you know, if it was reversed, I, I like it better when it's reversed. Because when it's reversed, you know, it could be a new beginning of a relationship. But when it's upright, it often says to me that, and this is me. I don't care what any other reader, readers say. Okay? I don't. So this is telling me that this is a completion, the end of a relationship. And this is something that you guys have been holding on to because it felt like it was happily ever after. Like it could be happily ever after. And you can't let go of it because it didn't turn out the way you had hoped. Here is the truth. You are being offered the raw truth, the opportunity to accept it, the opportunity to cut the cord, the opportunity to stop feeling like a victim and to take action, to bring 
bring security and stability back to your life, to stop feeling dead, to wake up, to start the healing process, to reevaluate, to recuperate. You have the power to do that. You just need to be willing to do it, to use your resources to do it. If you continue to cry about it and you continue to, you know, withdraw and and feel cold hearted and feel animosity and just feel very um, like a victim. This is a victim mentality as well. If you feel like you're the victim, then you are going nowhere. It is in your hands. And I am going to read you this one because it gets me absolutely every single time. Okay, the unknown card represents an answer that's not yet meant to be revealed. But the fact of the matter is, this is reversed. It is meant to be revealed. It's time for you to accept the truth, okay? It can signify something from the past that one may not fully understand. And we do have the past here. You will not let go of the past. Somebody that is watching this, probably not everybody, is not letting go of the past. And they must. Wherever the unknown card falls within a spread will indicate what area still needs to be unfold and what further steps need to be taken in, in order to clarify the bigger picture. It's right here next to this lack of love. At one time, there was love. A lot of it. Passionate love. And that's why you can't let it go. But there's a lesson right next to this card. A lesson. This all happened to teach you something. All you have to do now. Teach you something big, by the way. The world card is something big. All you have to do now is step over the finish line to turn that world card over. The unknown card can also signify the importance of one looking deeper into the issue in hand to find the answers. The the what and that's the truth. There was a lesson to be learned here, and the lesson is about self-respect, self-worth, self-esteem, and insecurities. Okay? I see there's a lot of insecurities here. Self-worth, self-esteem, self-love. That is the lesson to be learned. And when you can have self-respect for yourself, these cards will turn around. They will. That's the lesson to be learned. It can also represent the importance of moving forward with an open mind and without bias. This is reversed. You're not moving forward when you need to be. It is time to move forward. This is January 2018. Do you want to start this year out on a positive note? Do you? Because if you do, it is time to flip this Empress card over. This, your strength comes from your gentle compassion. You have lost compassion for yourself. Love yourself fully. In January. Immediately. So that you can have a good year. Put yourself first. Love yourself unconditionally. Love your inner child. Find that little girl or little boy and start loving them right now. Be their mother, be their father, be their best friend. Because when you can do that, that's when you love yourself fully. Realize that everything in your life has happened for a reason. To make you strong. To, to give you the compassion to help others. Because I feel you do have a lot of compassion inside of you. Whoever's watching this has a lot of compassion to offer others. But right now you can't offer it because you can't even offer it to yourself.
this card also signifies a fresh start okay it says fresh air but it also signifies fresh start Remember the beautiful soul that you are that's hidden down deep. You have a beautiful soul If, in case you have forgotten. Perhaps you need to remind yourself. Ooh, okay. Fresh air. This is from Dorian Virtue's Angel Daily Guidance, and this is from the Archangel Michael deck. Fresh air. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend some time outside today as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. I can see that many of you are feeling withdrawn. You may feel you may feel like you don't want to be around anybody. This card is telling me to tell you to get out there. Put yourself out there. Your home is protected by angels. Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and in and its inhabitants. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage, or taxes. Maybe some of you are worried about money this January. Ask the angels for help. They're here to help you. And I see a fresh start, but I think you need to put yourself out there. You need to get outside. If you're hiding inside because you feel unworthy, like you're not worth it, you know, lack of self-esteem, That I'm not going to go through it again because I don't want to bring anybody down further than I have, okay? The fact of the matter is, is you have a beautiful soul. Why don't you show it to the world? Let the past go. Flip that world card over and start loving yourself again. Make it a good year, please. Start in January 2018 by letting the past go. That's, that's self-love. That's self-respect in the highest form when you can let the past go completely. It's time to love yourself again fully. It's time for a rebirth. All you got to do is let it happen. The Empress is a rebirth, but it is reversed. So I'm here to tell you it is time for a rebirth. It's time for a renewal. Are you ready or do you want to stay stuck? It's all in your hands. So this is what I have for you, Libra. You know, I'm not trying to bring anybody down, but I'm not going to make it into something it is not. That's not who I am. Is that who you are? Talk to you later.